there and welcome to the Knife Nook. Let's see what we've got going on today. All right. Today, uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, uh, Saturday, uh, this morning, we had a new package arrive. Um, I got out of cutting grass today because uh, yesterday, well, two days ago, uh, I broke the belt on my lawnmower on the John Deere on the deck. Um, so other than paying um, the prices at like Lowe's and Home Depot. We just uh, ordered it off Amazon. We just ordered one off Amazon. Prime was, member discount. Prime member discount, so it came in a lot quicker. Um, um, so that came in this morning, but it's just too wet for me to cut any grass outside right now anyway. So uh, it, it gave me it gave us a little bit of time just to fiddle around with some new ideas. And actually, this is what came in the mail today. Um, if you guys tuned in um, before, in one of my older videos, uh, I showed you guys that uh, pocket modification with this old cold steel clip, one of the left-handed clips. Um, so you can wear it for uh, on, on light clothes, light garments. Um, you know, uh, I use, this usually is in my um, EDC rotation every time I leave the house, but uh, sometimes I don't get to carry everything. Everything just gets too heavy. And uh, so I was, I, I wanted to be able to carry a, a little tiny compact multi-tool. Um, so I added that pocket clip. So, you know, on my light garments when i am um, got my gym shorts on or anything like that, um, it's just really cool to slip in the, inside the waistband. Well, um, or just his boxers and his bathrobe. Yeah, or just my boxers <laughs> while I'm in my bathrobe. But it allows me to carry this light little tool, which is great. If you guys haven't checked these out, um, you should check them out. They're pretty affordable little tools from uh, Gerber. Um, whenever you're in a pinch, uh, this will get you out of it for sure. Um, and uh, this is kind of what we came up with today. Today, um, uh, these came in. And uh, what these are are uh, neodymium, neodymium. How do you say it? Uh, that your guess is as good as mine. I couldn't find a pronunciation on it, but neodymium is what I would guess. Magnets, they're rare earth magnets. Uh, two, we ordered two of them, and uh, they're about five bucks a piece. So I got them for like uh, ten dollars both on eBay, and I wanted to make sure that uh, here's the other one, and uh, they came with these little rubber things on them, little plastic little sleeves spacers. because they come together. And I'm telling you guys that when you when you put, whoops, see it's already trying to move. Um, <laughs> Wow, and that's about two, <laughs> about three. Yeah, it made it scary. It was a ghost or something. Um, anyways, uh, that just shows how strong these magnets are. Um, just, just another example of how strong this is. Yeah, it's picked up that pocket clip. This is the box they actually came in. Um, yeah, you know, like a four by four box with just those I two mean, magnets in it. I so, pulled that out of the PO box. I was like, "You're kidding me." So yeah, <laughs> so I guess they put in a big box so it doesn't mess with other people's mail because they are really strong. They if you are. hold the camera, I'm going to show them an example okay. of this real quick. No um, problem. A little closer look. Uh, yeah, here's those magnets, and uh, they come with two of them. I'm glad I got two of them because it helped with this little setup, this little project that I was working on. See how they just snap together like that? They're about. I, I got a coin to show you guys here um, to show you just how wide these are. Um, they're an inch wide. And I order them inch wide because I wanted to put it on something with this new uh, this new EDC accessory that uh, idea that we uh, were trying for light EDC uh, purposes. Um, uh, there's the magnets right there. But uh, when I put these together the first time, they jumped and one flipped and actually bit me right in the right there and gave me a blister um, uh, uh, when I when I opened them earlier today and uh, a little blood blister actually right there um, and it snapped again. So watch out, these are super strong. Don't put them. Yeah, see, wow. I already pulled my hands together, but uh, this is what we came up with. Um, all right, so uh, this is this is another tool that I carry with my ADC. Um, is uh, Gerber uh, uh, EAB? It's a razor knife, and uh, as you guys see here, uh, see here, open. It's just a it's, it's just a nice slim razor knife, and uh, it looks like a money clip. Well, anyway, I was, I was fiddling around with this the other day, and I, and I said, man, what if I put like magnets on it like that? And it, this holds. These magnets are really, really strong. I and, mean, they are really strong and, people. And with this Gerber EAB, I mean, just check this out when you put it. So I took the pocket clip off this, this just so it lays a little flatter. And uh, there it is. I mean, they just want to come together. <laughs> yeah, they, and, and actually it holds. I mean, I mean, I can't shake them apart. I can't even turn them. Um, but, and then you can just clip that on your, in, inside your, in your side your pocket and have, you know, all your tools right there. Whenever you need it, you just pull that one off. There, set that aside. Whenever you need this, you just slide these off if you need to. I don't want to do it too much. That's not what I I came up with, but uh, this is uh, an idea of, of, of another idea. Another yeah. idea. So if you guys have these tools, if you just buy these neodymium magnets, they're about an inch wide a piece um, and about an uh, eighth of an inch uh, thick. Even one might even do it here. Let's see here. Oh, shit. Is it very strong? Okay, let's see. I don't want to do it because I don't want to scratch the face of my knife. 
Yeah, see, and that, that even still holds it. That's how strong this magnet is. But uh, anyways, it, I didn't want to, to keep this set up, just the fact that I didn't want to scratch the face of this knife. Plus, uh, 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 if I ever want to use this, I don't want to have to take it all apart like that. Plus, it makes it, uh, how heavy does it make it? Um, well, the uh, Gerber, the little razor knife thing. Yeah. Uh, the I EAB? Yeah, I'm not sure how much that weighs on its own, but if you put the Gerber EAB and the dime and the two magnets together, that weighs 5.4 ounces. So if, so this, this, and the, and the magnets all together weigh 5.4 ounces. Yes. If you if you use the setup that I just showed you, and look how that's how strong it is. They're holding on each side of my finger like that. And I got my <laughs> fingers close tight. I mean, I, just, I don't actually don't want to let go because I know it's going to pinch my skin. Um, open my fingers too wide because it will. Pull one off. No, it's okay. I was just, but uh, yeah, 5.1. 5.4 ounces. 5.4 ounces for for that setup that I just showed you there. So um, if you guys have like a Leatherman, like a wave, I, uh, just a full size multi tool like that, that usually weighs about what? Oh, uh, uh, 8.5. Yeah, this weighs 8.5 ounces. So it's all that together, all those tools together in that configuration, still is lighter than a you know than a full size multi tool. But I was making this, and another reason why I didn't use that setup is because I wanted this once again for like my light garments, and so I didn't want that. Uh, that was gonna probably roll off of my hips, uh, on my on my waistband, you know, on, on on those those fabrics that would give. They're not as strong as jeans, or or, or when I'm not wearing a belt. But anyway, yeah. hold, hold this again. Yep. So what I came up with was uh, if you guys have any extra old money clips laying around like this. Make sure they're stainless, people. Yeah, make sure they're metal, though. Um, th they're, they're super thin, super light. Uh, this one, um, I had to bend it out a little bit because it was just way, way too tight. Yeah. So uh, this is what I came up with. And if you see here, this magnet, it stays to the stainless, but it, it, it slides really easy. You see that? It even pulls off and it sticks, and that's not what I wanted to happen. So I was like, shit, uh, I was going to uh, hot glue it, hot glue both of them on there like this. Kind of like that. But once again, the magnets kept pulling off. So I was like, so how can I fix this? Other than hot gluing those magnets on there. And actually I went like this. So if you get the, if you get it like that and you put one behind it like so, and you sandwich it in there like that, that's now it doubles the power of the magnet. And let's see here, boom, right on there. And check that out. I mean, see, I got an opening there. solid there. Yeah. And that opening is actually, I got it about maybe an eighth inch thick to get past like the drawstring on my gym shorts. Yeah. Um, and, and look at that. I mean, it, it, it'll spin a little bit, but I really have to force it. I mean, this thing is not coming off. So just another little solution for this, uh, this Gerber dime on, and, and another uh, light way to carry it. How, how much did this weigh, babe? Uh, with just the uh, dime and the money clip and the magnets, it's 3.6 ounces. So 3.6 ounces. So for it's this setup right here. For this setup right here. And if y'all need a reference. Yeah, here, hold this, hold this again. Yeah, I'll show them. Okay, sorry. I gotta pull, be able to two hand it to pull that. Yeah. There, pull that off, okay. If you guys need a reference just on how, how big these magnets are. Oh, what we got here? We got a Nebraska quarter. A Nebraska quarter. Yep. Let's see here. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> I was going to say. 2015 Homestead, Homestead Nebraska. Nebraska. Look at the little pump on there. Yeah, I love those pumps, man. My grandmother used to have one up in Pennsylvania at her place. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid playing with them too, man. When you're down by the fishing pier, sometimes you see these old school pumps. Yeah, sometimes they have them at old campgrounds and parks. But unfortunately, kids today, you know... So the size of a quarter, yep. you know, just a little bit thicker than a quarter. And that's another, I know there's, there's, they have things out there that, that hold pocket tools, they pocket magnetic pocket clips and stuff like that, the hold tools and everything. But a lot of them are a little heavier and, and a little bulk and a little bulkier, even the magnet that they use, they put it like on one side only. It's like, for instance, they put it on this side and they like glue it in there or whatever, but the magnet is thicker on this side. So yeah. it kind of. It, it kind of, what if you're going to put a tool on there, it sticks a little far out for it, to, it might snag even. Um, that's one of the reasons why I went with these magnets, because they're slim, and it keeps the whole package slim. And light, for, and some, for something that's light something, to begin with. Some, yeah, something that's light to begin with. And uh, for an example, what else we got here? We got, oh yeah, this is just another, if you put this on your belt clip, or in your pocket, you put it inside the pocket, however you want to wear it, on your belt clip, and, and check that out, boom. 
keys right to it, no problem. As strong as these magnets are, I mean, that's another way. Let's see here, here's another little pocket knife. Yep, it, so it'll hold an SD, no problem, look at this. Yep, my little Swiss. Her little Swiss, no problem. I mean, that thing isn't even, there we go. I yeah. really, really have <laughs> really to shake this. Really shake So you, there's another way to carry this Swiss if you don't want it bouncing around in your neck or whatever, or mm -hmm. if, you know, you're, you're jogging or whatever. Yeah. And uh, let's see here, old traditionals. I got a toothpick, a little mini toothpick. Look at that. Yeah, that might spin a little bit. Let's see. That match, I got that because my Mustang, my, my old school Mustang. Yeah. Ford. There it is. See, that ain't going anywhere. Just, in, just, just, just cool. Little, let's see here. Here, another one without. Everyone knows the cinder. Yep. That's what it's called. If we yep. didn't have this here, look out. Look at that. The cinder connects right to it. That's another knife that doesn't have a pocket clip. Yeah. So here's another solution. Just another reason why to carry this thing. It's super light. You can put on your gym shorts and uh and and just throw. You're ready to Whatever go. You need Anything to magnetic? Order. Yeah, check that out. A big. <laughs> um, I got this in my uh, Mason's uh, slip here. Yeah, you got the uh, level and uh, compass. Uh, I love that. M me being a Mason, um, I use these tools a lot. The level and compass. So, and uh, you know, God we trust there. Um, let's see here. What do you have? Oh, uh, this I have salt. She has her. She has her old one. Assault one. Look, that's how strong these are. That's an H one. That's just a salt one. That's a yep. what? Just a standard. Yeah, yeah, so everyone knows like an old school Delica. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at it's that. It's not even two ounces. Just to show you guys, more. just to show you guys how strong these magnets are and how versatile this tool can be. Okay, and uh, what else we got here? I got my uh, my Zippo. Yeah, this is a gift from my sister. Let's see here. I don't want to scratch up the back, but let's see here. Oh, look at that. Yep. That is sweet. <laughs> Check that out. That's cool. Let's see. Let's let's take a closer look here. Let's just see how how thick something like that. Yeah. So you're looking at. Three quarters of an inch, not even an inch wide. So there, here's another way to carry a Zippo. Here, hold this mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Here's a, here's a, here, that, that's an easy way to carry a, a Zippo if you wanted to, if you were jogging or whatever. If you had, you know, jogging and smoking, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of smoking, that's why th this Nebraska reminds me that uh, I, uh, when you said Nebraska, that uh, it reminds me they had weed. My friend, my one of my coworkers back in San Diego, he told me that. Fucking uh, marijuana would grow wild, like in the ditches. But yeah, it but, is. It's called ditch weed. But what it is is it's the descendant of industrial hemp okay. that was grown during World War II to help the war effort. So, so it, it's a hemp that they used to help the war. Yeah, That's, they would use. They, you know, you can take hemp and make textiles out of it. And at the time, a lot of our textiles were imported. So, the government was like, "Hey, grow hemp," and support the war well anyway i was like really you know coming from virginia that's where i'm from that's where we're from um yeah. uh, he was telling me that marijuana grew uh, legal and like like wild in the ditches there but he said when he was a kid trying you have to smoke like two pounds of it and it gives you just a headache it just gives you more it just kills you so don't do it but uh, i was just fascinated by it now i know it was actually used for the war i guess yeah, it's a it, it does it was a grown to not have a high thc content i got you with, so. i got you Anyway, and, and these are just the descendants of those, <laughs> so it's probably even worse than what it was to begin with. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here you go. Here, hold this again. Okay. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, this uh, neat little uh, new EDC. I think I'm going to introduce uh, that I'm going to be carrying from now on. Like I said, uh, you can put it right on your, your your shorts, and you can go and just. Just, just a new solution. Just, it's, it's a fun. It just makes things versatile, especially something like this. If you, if you want to carry something light on you, and you got light clothes, um, check out these neodymium magnets. Um, I got, like I said, I got them off eBay. Two of them. Um, they're inch in diameter, um, about uh, eighth of an inch wide. And uh, if you got an old pocket clip laying around, old money clip, and and you got this Gerber uh, dime, and you and and you want to. Um, uh, carry it and, and, and carry it because you actually like you know um, check this out try the setup it's a uh, pretty cool um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe um, just on the way out here let me show you my other little Gerber that I got here yeah just to play s 30 V I'm not gonna it's not about what this my EDC today is but I just want to show you just you know I, I really do like this company and uh, it's a shame that this didn't come with a pocket clip, um, but uh, that's all right. Well, we'll, we'll this is what we, we as this humans, just this is what we do. <laughs> you know, you got to come up with solutions, and uh, this is what we figured out. So uh, this is what he figured out. He comes <laughs> up with these ideas. Well, uh, she she helps support this hobby too. Of mine, so she she cooks. Yeah, she cooks. <laughs> and she cooks really good. I like my kitchen knives, though. Yeah, and we'll we'll do a special on that. If you guys are in the kitchen cutlery, we'll show you uh, what she uses. Okay, so uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Bye.